Hello, welcome to a new video. We're having fun with Mega Magic Heart. These are actually bonus patches coming with an update to this library on February 14th of this year, 2023. So the library ships right now with 175 patches. We are up to 201 patches. We'll be closer to probably 230, 250 by the time February 14th arrives. Really exciting. Um, these are bonus patches made by Matthias Sauer. He has Uni Lo-Fi, Uni Chill, some wonderful libraries at the website for Unify. Um, made these really nice phrases to go along with other things in the library. So play one note. All sorts of different phrases. And then another producer that has done a lot of work at our site is Jason Schopfer. And he wants to get samples into Unify for this bonus content from one of his existing libraries. And so I thought this would be a cool opportunity to give you guys a little tutorial on getting samples of your own into Unify. I'm going to do it in two-step process. One for like you guys that have samples in different folders on your hard drives, and you're not going to be moving them into Unify's folders. You still have to do a little bit of housekeeping and stuff, but I actually have a file in the video description you can download that is going to be the file that we're going to be, I'm going to be making here in a second. So you can go through, you don't have to go through the process I'm going to go through right now, but I want to show you from scratch how it works. Because typically what I, I've done in the past with samplers that I've worked with is I end up with some sort of a folder named sample vault or my sample bank, someplace where I just put all of my own sounds that I've accumulated from all the libraries. You buy something and it comes with demo samples, you buy something and it comes with additional loops, additional hits. A lot of the companies and websites and sound library companies, they sell these things that you buy this and you get all this extra bonus content, right? So we all have these folders with just boatloads of samples. Have you played any of those samples? Have you used any of those samples? You should, and you can in Unify very easily. We have a plugin inside of Unify called Guru Sampler that we're gonna work with to play the samples. Now, in order for Guru Sampler to work and to see samples that I am going to make, I need to have a folder here and have it organized and all that kind of stuff, right? Because right now, it's just the libraries we've, we've created and released and so forth. So what I'm going to do, these are the steps. I'm going to say init, and I'm going to go save. And let's say this is the blank start. Now, again, this file, all this stuff is going to be available for you to download for free and install. Um, but I'm showing you the steps. And for the library name, we're going to go to new library. So we want to make it new library. This is the magic step where we say my sample vault value <laughs> vault V A vault confirm. And then we just go save as and save. And now we have the starts. Now I'm going to add actually more to this. I'm going to right click on this and say reveal in the finder. And here we now have the folder inside of the plugin guru unify libraries folder. There is now a folder called my sample vault. Now we need to add to this because we want to have samples. So we need to have a folder that we call samples and then open side this. And let's say, I'm gonna make a couple different things. Drum loops, drum hits. Let's say uh, pads. Let's say synth, bass, okay? Now, let's take a look inside of Unify. If I go over here and I change, go to the instruments to Guru Sampler, I can click right here and there it is, my sample vault. And as you can see, those folders that I made, they're right here, ready to me, for me to use. 
Now, there's nothing inside of any of these. If I go to drum hits, right now it's empty. This is how it will look and how it will work when you install this blank starting library, okay? It's up to you to fill up these folders with SFZ files. And I'm gonna show you how to make those right now. <laughs> so we have to go to the web. By the way, this is my website, pluginguru.com. This is where you can find information about Unify, about Mega Magic Harps, this library that we're doing support for that has the bonus content coming or any other libraries. I have like over 80 libraries for many, many different synthesizers and plugins to make each library reinvents a synthesizer to be completely different than it was before. Um, my, my motto is buy one of my libraries and you're a customer for life because I have worked really hard to make new sounds, the libraries, and I work with people that do the same thing. We There's a skill set to make libraries that make new worlds to live in. And that's what a sample library or a patch library can give you. And that's, that's what I sell. It's kind of fun. So we're going to go over to a special website. This is Bjorn Barr's website in Germany. Right here, bjornbarr.de. He has three tools for sample editors, um, for sample makers, let's call you guys, right? We want to make our own maps using samples. They could be samples we made. They don't have to be samples we made, right? You buy one of these patch libraries for Serum and you get all these drum hits and all these drum loops and all these phrases and all sorts of stuff to work with. Well, here you go. Sessions to Wave, PC or Mac for all these, by the way, lets you take... If you've made your own samples, you've played guitar, play each note, let it fade to silence, play another pitch, let it fade to silence. This tool can take that one audio file that has all the separate little takes and turn them into separate audio files automatically. Very, very, very useful. Saves you an awful lot of time. Don't need to use a DAW to do that. Endless Wave is a really cool sample editor for looping samples. One of the best, one of the best on the market, and it's free. These are all free tools. Now, Sample Mapper is the tool that we need to use for even this part of the process. This allows us, as you can see, these little squared blocks, these rectangular blocks, each one of those is an individual sample. And you can have a different sample on every note. You can actually have samples layered on top of each other, and then Unify will randomly choose between them, which is kind of cool. Um, but this is what does all of that and then saves it as an SFZ file, which is a standard format for loading samples into many different types of samplers, right? So download this right here is for the Mac or the or Windows. And when you do that, it looks like this. And in this case, I happen to have, um, let's do this. Let's use this folder right here. This is my sample libraries folder. And I have... Oh my gosh. So many of us own Break Tweaker, right? Bought Break Tweaker. It's no longer supported, I believe. We all have all of these samples for Break Tweaker that they have. <laughs> you, If you download the full thing, there's just an incredible amount of kicks, snares, claps, hi-hats, toms. All this stuff should be inside a Unify for you to play with because otherwise you're just sitting on your hard drive for this plugin. And maybe you use Break Tweaker a lot. Maybe you've never used it, but you bought it when it was $5 or whatever, right? We'll open up Kick. And how many Kicks are there? Let's see. Um, there's eight folders, and then we unzip it. There's over 1,500 samples of Kicks alone, right? So let's see how many are in the Basics folder. Okay, so we have 925. <coughs> that's a lot of samples. Now, if you have this many samples, that's a lot of sample maps. If you want, um, I'm just going to click and drag the first set up to like 118, let's say 127. So click and drag that over the interface of Sample Mapper. Go down here to load and say start at 000 and say one step intervals um, and say import. And boom, the map is now full of kicks. And all you have to do, there's two steps. The first, and you only have to do this once. Go to preferences setting and make sure that FCC export in Unify format is turned on. 
So these samples exist in a different location. They are not saved currently. These samples do not live inside of Unify's folders, right? But I am referencing these samples, which means if I delete this folder in the future, these samples, the sample maps will not play because they'll the samples are gone. So make sure you don't delete anything you've made sample maps for. That's what I'm saying, right? So go over here. So save as, and let's go to the, we are in my sample vault, samples, drum hits, call it break tweaker. Uh, let's do this. Let's put it at the very beginning of the name kicks. Because that way, more kicks, if you make more kicks, they will all show up grouped and then snares and claps. It's, it's good to do it that way where you use something that's a common name first to group them and go save. Now, if I go over here to Unify and I go to Guru Sampler and I go to Drum Hits, Kicks. I have all 127 samples. And I could just choose one if I wanted. And if you go to pitch and say unpitched, then it plays across the keyboard the desired pitch. Then I can use this for tuning and all that kind of stuff. Or just say choose all of them. And you can have it at pitched or unpitched. sounds the same because it's got the root and the note assignments are the same. Okay, so we could just keep doing this all day long if we wanted to. All you have to do is say new. Okay, yes, we want to start with another new. Let's go to another category and get something else. Let's go um, not kicks, but let's say snares and electro. Sure. And let's choose 89 snares and drag over here. Let's say we want to start at 36 is fine. One semitone. Make sure you change that to one. It defaults to four. Import. There they are. Go save as. These are snares. So snare break tweaker two or one. Put numbers at the end or something like that. Now, if I go to the list inside, inside of Guru Sampler, I have to update the directory. So if I go to drum loops and then I go back to drum hits, you'll now see I have snares. So you can take and just build all day long. Um, let's go to something else instead of snares. Let's go to something fun like glitch. And here there's 362 glitch files. So we say sample mapper new. Yes. Uh, here's some glitch kicks. Kilo. I'm just going to click and drag as I'm holding down command to just get little spit, spotty bits through the whole thing. There, 92, just for fun. You might want to be more careful with what you do so you don't do duplicates. Get them all when you're making your maps, but I'm just having fun. 24, one semitone import. Boom. Save SFZ as glitch. B T um, select, whatever we want to call it, right? So if I go back here, each time I do this, I need to change from out of the folders and back into the folders and it refreshes. And now we have glitch. Maybe I like that sample so I could go searching to find Now I have that one sound across the whole keyboard. I can play with it, program, add effects, whatever. It's that easy to make your own samples. Now let's go to something that's pitched. So uh, let's look inside of the samples folder at synth, bass. And as you can see, it has this B flat, but it doesn't say where it is or here's, Here's C. So let's go up here to sample mapper, say new instrument. 
okay? Now, what we wanna do is we need to put the pitch at the end of the sample. So I'm going to actually do this. I don't wanna mess up break tweaker because it might need this sample, but I like that bass. I wanna play with it. So I'm gonna say Command D to duplicate that. And then for the name, I'm gonna say that's D2. It doesn't sound like a really low D, but it's, it's kind of in there somewhere. So if I select this and drag over Bjorn Sample Mapper, um, you'll see that it shows up highlighted, but the root key has not been determined yet. So I go over here to root key and I click this and boom, because I put D2 at the end of the name, it got it. I'm gonna say import and go file, save SFZ as, instead of drum hits, let's go to bass and BT for break tweaker, whatever you want to name it. Uh, impact. So, I don't know. Did he have a name for this? No, just synth, <laughs> synth base two. So we'll call it impact, though, just for fun. So now if we go over here to Guru Sampler and we go to base and we say impacto. <laughs> So you can put your own samples into Unify. If they're pitch-based, you want to add the pitch to the end of the name to help with the mapping. You don't even have to do that. If, let's say that we... Let's find another one really quick. Now it says E. I'm not going to put that in the name. I'm going to say new SFC, yes. Um, I'm going to just drag it over here. I'm gonna just say, let's say load from root name. It's not gonna get anything. Say import. And then I would have to go through here and unfortunately they do the root key by numbers. But they tell you right here to the side what it is. So it's E, right? So I'm just gonna scroll up here to E2. Just by hitting the plus button. Until I say E2, there. So without the sample name, you can still modify it by using the root key Here's your keyboard range. If I wanted to limit the range so it didn't go up the whole keyboard and I wanted to put something else up there, it's very easy to just double click and say 64, whatever you want. In this case, I want it to go the whole keyboard range. So this is going to be go save instrument as, let's just call it base two, just to be fun. Now, none of these presets that I'm making are gonna be included in what you download. I am just giving you folders with these basic names for bass, drum hits, drum loops, drum pa for pad synth. And again, make new folders, name them if you want new categories, okay? It's just to help get you started. So open Guru Sampler, go back to bass. If you don't see it, then that means you need to go down one directory and back up, and there it is. Off you go. It's that easy to use. Now, if you have something that has more samples, for example, <laughs> as an example, let me show you for example, let's go, do you really want to create a new blank? I'm going to go into my libraries folder and I'm going to go to a harp. This is the wave version of the harp because I'm still building on the library and working on it to the samples. And I'm going to take some of these samples for the harp. I'll give you just as an example how this works. I backed up some samples as I was editing them in case I screwed up, I do that. So if I drag over here, and these are all named where the pitch is at the end of the names, right? If I say load, go to root key from name, and as you can see, it got it for all the samples, import. Boom, there's the map. So I can go save as, now I don't have a folder for harp, so let's make a new folder. Uh, magic, make it magic harp. Again, this folder will not exist inside of what I'm going to be sending you. Harp. Save. So let's go over here. Change directories right here because we changed, made a new folder up there. My sample vault. Harp. Harp. And because the sample names were there, there's the raw harp samples. And off you go. So you can map large sample maps, lots of drum samples. Let's say we want to do drum loops because we all have like a mountain of drum loops. And I'll, sh I'll show you, it's really important to do something when you're doing drum loops. So let's close the harp because we're not doing harp. 
Let's go over here to where we were in the samples. Uh, I lost it, so I'm gonna go here. So inside of my samples libraries folder, let's go to drum loops. Actually, one of my favorite libraries is Dead Mouse Expert. This is still available at Loop Masters and has incredible drum loops from Dead Mouse. And this is from way before, this is like after random album, album title. In 2008, he made this library um, with Steve Duda, before Steve Duda made Serum. <laughs> so this has been around for a very long time, has all the drum samples are all 128 beats per minute. They're creative, they're crazy, they're really fun. So let's drag over a whole bunch of these, 123 of them. Let's say we want to start chromatically at samples or note number 001, steps of just one and create. So now we have drum loops all over the place. Go save as, and we're going to put this into the samples drum loops. And this is where it's really important to say what the tempo is first. And then, um, dead mouse expert. Okay, so we now have uh, Guru Sampler Drum Loops Dead Mouse. Now, we don't work in Unify yet with a liquid audio engine that can change tempo. That means you need to set your tempo here what the tempo is if you're dealing with drum loops, your DAW needs to be at the same tempo. So if you load up 128 beat per minute drum loops, that's why it's important to have the tempo at the beginning of the name, then your DAW needs to be running at 128 beats per minute. Otherwise, you're going to end up with things not being in sync. But if this is at 128 beats per minute, let's do a real quick check. Let's go over here to BPM drum. And we could say Jakarta, right click, say load into a new Unify layer. You can get your own samples and build your own libraries. And this is a case where the samples are in different folders. This is not inside of the Unify folders layout. But what this means is you cannot send these patches to any friends. You can't distribute this because unless somebody else has folders and samples in the exact same layout as you, they're going to get error messages. What if you wanted to do something and then share it? with other people. That's where it comes into the steps of this. So let me do this. Let's clean this up so that it looks the way you're gonna, it's gonna look when you get it. Let's get rid of all of these. Goodbye. 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 Because I didn't put any samples in these folders. Oh, wait, let's get back here. Close these up. So when you get this, I don't know why it did the, okay. yeah. So when you get this, it's gonna look like this. There will be a samples folder, there will be a patches folder. And that's it. I'm, you don't need the media folder for all that kind of, there's other things you can add if you wanna add MIDI files. Maybe I'll give you a MIDI files folder. That way you put MIDI files in there so that they will be able to easily be referenced for the patches. The thing is this, if you want to make something you can share with everybody else, then that means you actually need to put samples into the samples folder with everything else. So um, I showed you the beginning, Make Magic Heart library that we're working on, right? It's right here. And there's these bonus patches that were made by uh, Matthias that are wonderful. Well, Jason Schopfer, who's got some wonderful libraries, he's got a really cool website called Rocky Mountain Sounds. I want to point that out. 
Um, he has a library called Afterglow, and he is going to include some samples that are part of this library in this bonus content for Unify for Mega Magic Harp. Really, really cool. And um, I'm going to show you how you would get the samples to be set up so that you could share it with others and that would be able to use it. So all we need to do is right click and say reveal in Finder, and that will load this library up in its layout for inside of your hard drives of your computer, right? So we're going to go up one level of directory to Mega Magic Harp to samples. Here's where the Mega Magic Harp samples are. So double click that. Now, here is the folder with the samples that come with Afterglow. I'm going to drag this right here. As long as it's inside of the Harp folder right here, I could put them inside of samples folder, but I don't have to. But once it's nested inside of the Mega Magic Harp folder in these directories, as long as it's here, then the patches will be able to be shared and everybody will be able to load them without error. How do I get that to work? Where I so here's there's two steps. You've got the samples, right? That's what we have with all the drum loops and the drum hits and so forth. Then we need an SFC file like these that is in this folder. And that's what we need to make right now. So we're going to go over here to Sample Mapper. We're going to say New. Yes. And here's Ambifrost 1C5. So we say Load. Root name is there. Load. And I say Save SFC Instrument As. Let's say RMS af After Glow. This was Frost 1. So we want to go all the way up to libraries, to Mega Magic Harp, samples, Mega Magic Harp. That's where you need to save this. So you hit save. Now, by doing that, when I go over here, let's say to the, the normal Harp patch, let's write down on the Mega Magic Harp, number one, the dry Harp. Right? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say new empty layer. And I'm going to say give me a guru sampler. And I'm going to go Mega Magic Harp. And right here in the list, there's now Afterglow Frost 1. Bring up a little bit of release. And and These sounds fade out. They're there. They eventually will fade out. They're very long samples. If you want them to fade out sooner, you could just go like this and give yourself a decay. And if I save this as save pluck, S Frost One and Harp. Save as save. There. So I have go to this and it's there. And if I wanted to build and have all of those samples from here, because there's quite a few, only some of these samples are going to be in the library, not the whole library. I think he's going to actually make all the afterglows available as a separate library for Unify. That would be just beautiful stuff. If you want that, put it in the comments. Uh, let's let let's load Green Space One. It says C5 at the end, so we go over here and say root name. There it is. Import. Save SFZ as RMS Afterglow. And let's just call it Grains 1. And save. So now if I go to this layer, and once again, I need to go out of this directory, into this directory. There it is. 
active. It's that easy. And by doing this and by adding samples into the actual Unify folder for this library, I could now share this library with other people and they would be able to um, play with this. This is the file you'll be downloading from our website when you link, click the link in the video description. And by dragging this over Unify and letting up, it says, do you want to install my sample vault? I say, yeah, I do. It says, okay, installed it. Boom. It's right here with the blank start patch ready for you to start playing with. And all you have to do, make the SFC files from your samples using Bjorn sample tool. Then go over here to the blank start, click in the little dot and change to Guru Sampler. And then right here is choose my sample vault and then choose whatever directory you put samples into. And then choose those samples and now you can play them, change the release if you need to, more velocity, no velocity, turn on the filter if you want to filter the sound or not, um, and then go save my cool kicks. Name it however you want. You could be organized like us. Like if I was going to do this for drums, I'd say drums at the beginning of the name or something like that. Whatever you want. We don't need any categories. Um, save as is what you click and then hit save. And now you have made your patch referencing Guru Sampler, referencing your samples. Start building, get your own cool samples into Unify. So now you can play with them and do all sorts of fun things. So this is a long video. I hope this information helps. I want you guys to just get the most out of the power Unify gives you because once you have your sounds in here, now you can click here, you can add MIDI effects. You can click over here, you can add all of your audio effects to your samples, save them as new patches. Good times are ahead, okay? So thanks for watching. Hope this helped. We'll see you in the next video.